When they first said 3D printing, you know, I was like, printers are already three dimensions. They sit on the table and they print things. Oh wait, 3D still? What is it? I, it, it took me forever to understand they were talking about printing an object. A 3D printer is really um, an additive manufacturing process. In most manufacturing, it's really subtractive. You have a block of raw material that you subtract material away to create this thing. Uh, with additive manufacturing, what you do is layer on material. The filament is extruded through a heated element and layered on layer by layer. Until there's a thing. And then you go, and then you've got a thing. Originally, John Stewart and Cherry Duvall uh, got a grant last year and brought a 3D printer onto campus. We had been having a number of different conversations with some of our consortial peers about maker spaces and 3D printing, so it actually had been something in the air, more or less. My main purpose, original thought, is to use it for creating set models. Uh, I started actually designing scenery and drafting back when the computer drafting was kind of a new thing. So I learned all of my craft basically as a hand drafter and as building models from cardboard. So I've built tons of scenic models with X-Acto knives and little pieces of cardboard. To be able to not only draft something on the computer that it creates a, a, a drawing that you can use to build a full-scale version, but that you can also then just print out a miniature version of it is incredibly exciting. Michael Bell over in the biology department came to me, he had an older microscope camera and he needed some adapters for it. Uh, the adapters were not easily found and were going to be expensive for him to replace. I was able to use SketchUp, make some drawings for it on in the computer, print some out, quickly hand them over. He was able to test fit them and say, this fit better, this fit worse. And I'm able to print those out for dollars, just a few dollars a piece, instead of it being the hundreds of dollars that he was going to have to be able to. John Stewart in the physics department and Cherry Duvall in the theater have been very generous in their time and, and sharing the, the MakerBot they have. But it's a way, it's in a lab. Uh, and we wanted one that would be out. One of the things I quickly decided we needed to do was to bring that technology into a space that belonged to students. And that was the impetus for getting a printer and a scanner into the OathOut Technology Center. One of the most recent prints that I did is this multicolored trilobite piece. What I did was I printed it into different pieces and then I managed to connect all of the pieces. So now it has hinges and this trilobite can move back and forth along these hinged joints. I want to create an art piece, something like maybe two by two feet or something like that. It would teach me many different skills. It, I would have to work with several different programs to do such a thing, but I think it would it's that type of challenge that would really enable me to grow within this medium. We've got a makerspace now because we have a 3D printer and we have a poster printer. I mean, the oath out is a makerspace. The idea behind a makerspace is to give students opportunities to experiment with new technology. And I think not only to experiment with things like 3D printing, new types of software that can be used, but also to give them that sense of community and to allow them to bring their creative ideas together and bounce them off of each other. The students will be teaching themselves. This information will be transferred from student to student. They will, they will learn by doing. The value is in creative collaboration. The value is in a space where togetherness is valued.